the Netherlands has an outstanding reputation as a producer of pork. That's why so many countries import Dutch pork. But besides pork, the Netherlands also exports live pigs. 40% go abroad and 60% are processed in the Netherlands. After processing, more than two-thirds of the pork goes abroad as meat or meat products. The Netherlands owes its reputation to the outstanding quality of the meat and animals and all the inspections and guarantee systems in the Dutch production chain. Identification and registration, I and R, and tracking and tracing play a key role in this. The codes on the packing and documents make it possible to trace each preceding link in the production chain right back to the source, the farm. From the shop, the trail leads back to specialized meat processing companies. These companies source their raw materials from Dutch abattoirs and cutting plants. When the meat arrives, its temperature is checked and its origin is immediately registered to ensure optimum tracking and tracing. Then it's turned into a wide range of different consumer products. The meat processors, in turn, buy from the abattoirs. The animals are delivered to the abattoirs by specialized animal transporters who will often have picked up the animals from the farmers early that morning. Dutch abattoirs know precisely in advance from whom they will be getting animals. The driver carries all the necessary documents with him, including the food chain information on the animals he is delivering. All pigs are identified by an INR tag and a slaughter tag in the ear. If all the information tallies, the driver can continue to the unloading point. An official vet from the Dutch Food and Consumer Product Safety Authority oversees the unloading of the animals. This is done quietly and carefully. Animals can only be slaughtered once the government livestock vet has assessed them. If an animal is not in an appropriate condition, the abattoir will not accept it for slaughter. As soon as the pigs arrive, they are put in layerage sheds to rest. Water sprinklers are used to ensure the animals are calm and clean. Once the pigs have been stunned and killed, the carcasses are scalded in hot water in preparation for de-herring. Then they are literally burned clean in a singeing oven. Once the data on each individual animal is keyed in, the carcass moves to the next part of the abattoir. In the meantime, the trucks used to transport the animals are thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. To prevent the spread of animal diseases, after unloading, the trucks are cleaned and disinfected in the abattoir's special cleaning and disinfection area, ensuring the truck that comes to the farm is always clean. In the Netherlands, the contact structure between pig farms is governed by a strict set of rules to prevent the spread of contagious animal diseases. Everything is done to ensure hygiene, food safety and health. Before abattoir personnel can enter the abattoir, they have to follow a strict cleaning and disinfection routine. In the Netherlands, a system of integral chain management called the IKB Quality Scheme is followed. Abattoirs holding IKB certification will only accept animals from farmers 
who also comply with this quality system. It's the benchmark for meat production in the Netherlands. It entails a system of inspections and guarantees designed to ensure that all links in the production chain, from farm to shop, follow on seamlessly from one another. The Netherlands was the first country in Europe to introduce such a system. Almost 95% of Dutch pig farmers work according to this principle. The IKB system is itself overseen and controlled by independent certified inspection bodies. Some abattoirs even go further and apply even stricter rules, partly depending on their customers' needs. Underpinning all of these are of course the general legal requirements. Immediately after the animals are slaughtered, the government vets assess the quality of the carcasses. They check the organs to make sure the animals were healthy. The other organs removed at slaughter are sent for the extraction of a range of substances that are used in the production of medical products, among other things. In this department, the half carcasses are assessed for the meat-fat ratio. The weight and quality of the carcass determine the price to be paid to the farmer. Each carcass is stamped with unique codes on different parts of the meat. These codes lead precisely back to the herd to which this animal belonged, so that in an emergency it's possible to trace which farm it came from. The carcass is also given the unique code of an abattoir approved by the European Union. The half carcasses are kept in cold stores for 24 hours to chill the meat through thoroughly. Then it's ready to be processed into large parts. Dutch abattoirs and cutting plants work to order. Each customer at home and abroad has his own specific requirements for how he wants the meat to be cut. The shape, cut or colour of the meat is very important for customers. Every day refrigerated trucks leave Dutch abattoirs with carcasses, shoulders, middles and legs destined for hundreds of customers at home and abroad. Countless meat products worldwide can be traced back to the Netherlands. And from the abattoir, we go back to where it all starts, the Dutch pig farm. This is a sow farm. It specializes in breeding healthy, vigorous piglets with excellent meat properties. In the Netherlands, improvements are constantly being introduced that promote the welfare of pigs. On this farm, the sows are kept in group housing. In the morning, the farmer cleans the shed and clears up the manure, which is used as fertilizer on nearby fields. As soon as the shed is empty, the farmer spreads fresh straw in the central shed. The farm's boar also gets a portion of fresh straw. The sows immediately feel at home in the fresh straw. Then they make their way over to the feeding station. Each sow is given its own customized portion of feed. The feeding machine identifies the sow by the chip in its ear. Each sow has a unique code to which an individual passport is linked, enabling the farmer to keep track of which animal the piglets came from. Dutch sows are highly productive. This is due to the skill of the Dutch farmer and modern breeding programs, which are focused on producing healthy, strong piglets with high growth rates and the best possible meat characteristics. 
At insemination time, the farmer uses a teaser bore to check which sows can be inseminated. Apart from the specialised sow farms, there are also farms that breed piglets and raise them as finishers. These are known as integrated farms. Highly pregnant sows go to the farrowing shed where the piglets are born. Sows have a litter once every five months on average. As soon as the piglets are big enough, they are given an ear tag so they can be traced throughout the rest of their lives. When the piglets are weaned at around four weeks old, they are moved to a new section, which will have been thoroughly cleaned beforehand. The young piglets live here in large groups until they weigh around 25 kilograms. Then they move on to a different section of the farm, where they continue to grow. Some farms specialize in supplying piglets to other pig farmers in the Netherlands or abroad. Piglets and pigs from the Netherlands are much sought after in neighboring countries. This is due to the quality of the animals, which come from an advanced breeding program for which the Netherlands is renowned all over the world. But on this RKB farm, the animals are kept until they are ready for slaughter at around 115 kilograms live weight. The pig farmer is cleaning one of the sheds ready for some of his own piglets. Once the shed is dry, it's strewn with sawdust. The accommodation, the climate inside the sheds and the feed are key factors in the animal's health. When the climate has been properly adjusted, the piglets move into the finisher shed. At every stage of a pig's life, it gets feed rations that are mixed precisely to meet its individual needs. The pig's feed is made up of healthy raw materials, whose exact composition and origin are known. This GMP Plus logo, good manufacturing practice, is evidence the feed quality is controlled. The space Dutch pigs have to live in is more generous than required under EU rules. The pig farmer regularly seeks advice from the feed supplier and his house vet. Animal health is the number one priority in Dutch livestock farming. Dutch pig farms conduct systematic research into certain diseases to monitor the health status of their animals. This is compulsory in the Netherlands and it is monitored. When the pigs are ready for slaughter, they are taken to the abattoir. Each pig is fitted with a slaughter tag in the ear. This code remains with the carcass throughout the rest of the process. Once the animals have been loaded, the documents are checked and signed off. The pig farmer checks his animals out of the I&R database, and a form with food chain information is sent out with them. The form tells the abattoir everything it needs to know about the status and history of the pigs. Thus, tracking and tracing has taken us right back to the source of the pork chain. With this integrated approach and the systematic checks in all links of the production chain, the Netherlands offers the best guarantees for safe, reliable, and delicious tasting pork.